By far the most infamous part of Secret Rings is its controls, and how the tutorial fails to adequately explain them. Like, did you know there's actually two types of charge jump? Or that you can do a, quote, spin attack and damage enemies just by jumping into them? But aside from those tidbits, the most difficult control to grasp in Secret Rings has to be the grind rails. Even if you know how they work, they tend to behave strangely, leading many players to dismiss them as being broken, and something to avoid if possible. I was like that for a while too, but eventually I came to understand them, now I'd like to take this opportunity to explain to you the insanity of this game's rail mechanics, because like I said, most people, and thus most reviews of this game, tend to skip over them. And eventually, we'll get to the hidden move not even explained on the developer blog, which inspired this video. First of all, you need to realize that these rails have physics. These are not your automatic Sonic 06 or Frontiers rails. Okay, third time. There might be skills to increase your rail speed, but those are just talking about when you accelerate on them. Accelerating on rails is kind of weird because it conflicts with the game's jumping controls, which are maintained just as they are off rails. You accelerate by tapping the 2 button. However, you have to do this quicker than how you tap the 2 button to do a short hop. You basically have to quickly graze the button, because anything longer will do a hop. You can still do a charge jump by holding down 2 for longer than the hop. However, unlike off rails, there is no animation for this, and charging the jump doesn't slow you down. To make it even more confusing, the game likes to blend all three of these actions together. Tapping 2 will always make you accelerate, and it can sometimes generate a short hop, but continuing to hold 2 will still charge your jump. So, okay, you have to speed up on rails like in the games of 406. So how does rail switching work? Well, all you have to do is tilt the remote to the left or right to jump in that direction. You don't actually have to jolt the remote like many people, myself included, once thought. All you have to do is tilt far enough and Sonic will make the switch. However, the developer blog reveals that this isn't actually rail switching, it's a rail trick! You actually get experience points if you manage to land on another rail after performing a trick, which kinda hints that the developers might have not intended you to consistently use this move to switch rails, hence the occasional weirdness and inaccuracy when switching. But with all that said, this is where I blow your mind. 